Hello everyone. Today I'm playing a co-op run with another content creator, JJ. He reached out to me asking if we could do something together, so I made him choose from a list of challenge run ideas, and in the end we decided to go with what we thought would be the easiest. A run where we can only play one copy of a card using the four different class archetypes. This means that we have to make sure our starting decks have no duplicates before leaving town, and prevents us from picking up duplicates of the same card while out of town meaning we'll have to pass up on some corrupted cards or potentially wait to pick some up in case they do show up after a fight. That said, we didn't expect too much trouble. Like, yeah. this I, is going to go so I think well. This will be a little silly act one, but then like once we get like the random really strong impactful cards, uh, I don't I don't think it'll be hard. Getting started here, we decided to go for Cornelius Otis carry as well as Heiner tank and Gustav support. And perks are in the description. To facilitate running no duplicates we decided to do divinations in the beginning because that was just going to make it the easiest. Um, so we took whatever cards we thought would be good and just went from there. Uh, Scry early on is good as well as the shock nova that Cornelius got. We want that speed reduction. Um, figured we'd be making use of those cards. I have a hard time deciding whether I want that upgraded inner fire or not. I decided to take it. Uh, kept getting offered inner fires. Now we get a purple sawtooth knife. We get foresight and notices deck because it can do damage for zero. And we do plan on transforming the damage later. Um, here you can see we're removing some cards. I did have to uh, ask JJ what route we potentially wanted to go on this run. Do you wanna do you wanna try for straw hat? <laughs> Interesting. Because we See, have the option. My heart says my heart says no. <laughs> uh, Your heart but, says I mean, no. <laughs> for, for the content though, right? Like you kinda have to. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you yeah. killed me at your heart says no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like everything about like going top. <laughs> Getting a bunch of fights, a bunch of card drafts, free upgrade. Like, everything about Hatch sounds so good. Oh, uh, Hatch sounds, sounds amazing so sad. to the fire team? Hi Hatch is yeah. so good? It sounds so sad to go Straw Hat. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I mean, we can, you know? There's nothing stopping us from going Straw Hat. That's the only thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. As I was going through my cards and finalizing the upgrades in my decks, I did notice something strange in uh, Gustav's deck there. Yeah, maybe we give Gustav something. I don't know, Gustav still has a vitalizing Serenade in that deck, and that makes me kind of sad. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else we put in there, but, like, surely something, right? Well, uh, which one do you hate? Vitalizing Serenade. <laughs> you hate Serenade? I bought this Serenade. You bought that it Serenade? It goes so oh. wild, oh, okay. yeah. Never mind, never mind. You know what? Keep the Serenade upgraded. It was 126 upgraded. shards. Don't disrespect uh, Serenade like that. Oh, we that. can't even upgrade it yet. This is... It's, wait, what oh, is man. this? It's That's three, right. so like two, four, six, and then like times four. Dude, this is 24 health. Are you trolling? For three energy. <laughs> you, hate, you hate this card? That's outrageous. <laughs> I could upgrade a Chant of Initiative to not burn. <laughs> uh... Yeah, we took some silly cards there. Uh, here are all the decks if you want to see them. You can see Otis's, now we have Gustav's, we're going to have Heiner's in a second, and then Cornelius's. Feel free to pause if you want to see what we ended up with. You can see we only have one copy of each card, and there wasn't much more to do except get started. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't yeah. it your parents' What's fault the plan? being born? <laughs> you know, true, true. I could trace it all the way back, go down my, my family line. <laughs> So we right. got like so many good events. Like look at that. If we went for honest work, we could go down. We don't even do the free upgrade. We just get the the boon in the hatch. The hatch would be so good here. Yeah. Now I'm saying all that uh, because we're definitely gonna go to the straw hat, right? <laughs> mm. If you say we're I going hatch, I trust the professional. If you say we're going hatch, I'll go hatch. But I because oh, you hadn't no. done straw hat, I just wanted to do that. Or like because you haven't done it forever. So now, so now if I say hatch, I'm cringe. If you say hatch, we're going hat. It's better for the team, or like overall. I mean, I, nothing's better than straw hat in the late game, but like you know, I think we'll be fine probably. Although those fights. All right, look let's harder. do a straw hat. 
<laughs> for the content. So, getting into the run here, uh, we did decide to go down for the Straw Hat route. Uh, I'm not going to show each and every fight, it would be way too long of a video. We did spend about 7 hours on this run, so I'm just going to skip through a lot of these fights to the end. Kind of so show you our condition at the end of the fight, and then show you every different nation. Here at the Straw Hat, we looked at Adventure Awaits, that 2 speed. 2 stanza and 2 energize is super strong, but of course we don't take it because we need to get the straw hat. <laughs> um, so yeah, we took the Ashy Skies, much to JJ's dismay because I really wanted the money, and uh, we got hurt for it, but not too terribly. Like, look at that. Gustav died, but that's fine. <laughs> Gustav can die for the team. Uh, JJ apparently hates the sheep too, which I find really funny. The sheep is always like the least threatening one to me, but... <laughs> Yeah, couldn't take that purple fast strike because I think I already had a fast strike on Heiner. And we're looking kind of worse for wear. Didn't know what decision here was going to be the best, but we went for Cornelius's, got some money and stuff out of it. Not too bad. Uh, here we get to buy the Jeweler's Ring, so we're going to get speed upgrades for the entire team as well as some health and resistances. We even get a purple one, which is great. Um, gives us two speed on Otis because Otis at this point was supporting Cornelius a little bit more, so we wanted Otis to go first, uh, and that would allow him to do that. Um, here at the Divination area, we just decided to heal up because we really desperately needed the heals. <laughs> Our decks aren't too solid in the beginning because we're not running a bunch of copies of the better cards. Um, this fight is usually kind of hard. Uh, I believe we had to try it like twice, maybe, um, but it's not too bad. I do promise to go over every single challenging fight that we did have. Uh, there weren't like a ton of them, but there were definitely a few that were notable. Uh, this was not really one of them, so I'll not be showing this in full detail. Our rewards from this fight are pretty good though. We do get a Sarcastic Sonnet, which we can use for more vulnerability. Otis gets Holy Smite, so he can power himself up with Bless a little bit more. And the loot that we get is nice. We get a Rift Shield on Otis uh, for some block charges. We got the Heater Shield on Heiner in the early game, because uh, the early game Heiner Heater Shield was going to be providing a lot of block and safety for us. Picked up Warhammer on Heiner because gave him plus two crack charges and he does have some crack in the deck. And then we got to go to Otis's house, or I guess chapel, and got it lucky here with the mental shake. We get to find some items. I don't know why so many of like, the town or act one events are bad if you have the character, but here. All right, then we go up to the note. To oh the note. God, this guy's burn immune. This uh, is gonna be so miserable. Cold hands is bad. Oh my god. This is going to be so <laughs> miserable. That guy is not dying at all. <laughs> He's not. Why? Why is this he in is our way? A, okay. To put that Warhammer to work. Do we take cold hands then? You might as well. Yeah, like. Does I'm that not, help us? not doing damage either way. I mean. Does that, does that actually help us? I mean, yeah, I could hit him. Nah, with but... the the first couple cards I get. Mm, man, that seems real bad. Also, sorry if I'm taking too long on all these decisions here. I'm just like... No, 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 that's fine. I mean, this is only six uses too, right? So, like... I mean, the the, the worst part... Yeah. From what I'm looking at right now is just the minus one card. Like, turn one. That kind of hurts, but... Yeah. It'll be fine. Just... I say you just do it. Alright, let's try it, and then we can focus all our early damage on that guy, hopefully. <laughs> oh, god, he's 82% resist. One yeah. fire, blessed. Yep, this is one of those fights that was really a challenge for us, because we are a fire damage carry team, really heavily relying on Cornelius right now, and uh, this is a super fire resistant dude. This fight... This fight took some trial and error. We tried to use cold hands to the best of our ability to deal some damage to this guy, but we uh, we ended up dying fully in the end there. So I will show the full successful fight that we did have. Cold hands ended up being pretty useful. Then who we traced and gave the speed upgrades to also mattered quite a bit. Um, wanted to make sure that Cornelius didn't have cold hands in the early game so that he could have it in the later game to take out the fire wizard. Uh, then we would be able to um, take out the rest of these uh, enemies very early on so they wouldn't be able to do all their damage with all the fire that we had from Cornelius. At least that was the game plan, uh, which ended up working much better for us than our previous game plan, which didn't work at all. <laughs> um, Heiner taunting there gave us a lot of uh, 
a lot of block. We were able to put Odevor on Heiner anytime we wanted to as well. That was one of the nice things about this team. Um, in case we didn't need to give Powerful to Cornelius and Otis. This wasn't one of those fights where we needed to put the Odevor on Heiner, but there are a few occasions where we know that the front is going to get hit pretty hard, and having to evade will save Heiner from a lot of damage. Otis, I do have a lot of uh, barrier charges on him, or shield charges, whatever it's called, so that he can heal up the team just a little bit alongside providing a bit more block on the later turns if Fortify does run out. Which it rarely will happen in the early game, and then in the late game after we have Steel Forge and find that more consistently, we won't have too big of an issue. This fight also is a challenge in the sense that we didn't level up before getting here, um, and it is where enemies start to scale up to their higher tier versions in the middle of the act, so that made it a little bit more challenging for us. The Sawtooth Knife at least did a little bit of damage, and this guy doesn't have much cold resistance, so Cold Hands definitely helped us more than hurt us, I would say. And we were able to slow him down, get some unstable power if we need to, and mostly just, like, tank through this guy <laughs> at the very end, but he does—he starts doing, like, an incredible amount of damage around, like, now, I would say? Although we do have, like, 80 block on everybody, so maybe he can't do too much more. <laughs> This fight was definitely one of the harder challenges, and we had to repeat it multiple times. JJ was not a huge fan of having to repeat fights, as we'll see later on in the run as well. So, here's the end. Yeah. Whack him. We got a quick shot. Three damage? Yeah, That's and help. I'm healing to full. Holy moly. Oh, I, he, see that, uh... Healing to full. <laughs> see that Sanctify go in? Uh... <laughs> 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 I don't know how to tell you this. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think it's doing as much nice. as you hoped it was doing. <laughs> it it's felt like a lot in my head. <laughs> but in application, it's simply uh, you're nice. Are already at 7 powerful. Yeah. Oh my it god, the fire blast. Oh, you got him. So him. Just do it. We got I don't him. Care. We take those. <laughs> got a good, we get the free upgrade. Yeah, that went way better. <laughs> for all our efforts on this fight we really didn't get rewarded with anything we just had to take some shards though at least we were able to take cold hands and get some free upgrades which was pretty nice um like i said the cold hands helped us more than hurt us this fight so really wasn't much of a corrupter at all in some senses and yeah after getting the level up of steel forge i started to feel a lot more confident definitely went with praise the sun for otis because i planned on turning him into a carry later we got hellflame on cornelius which is pretty solid and then Gustav got some heals for the entire team to let us recover every time he plays a song for four times. Oh, we get to take the Meditate here on Otis, and I'll fast forward through this fight towards the end. You can see we handled it fairly well. We're not the fastest team in the world right now, uh, partially just because like we can't power up one person to an extreme with our current limitations. We get four purples on Heiner, which was pretty hilarious. The purple Holy Nova was great. I was really grateful that I didn't take a Holy Nova early on, so I could pick up that one. Um, not too much better than the one energy, high damage, sanctify Holy Nova. And while Yogurt wasn't too much of a challenge, I did regret some of my earlier purchases. Yeah, you have Dispel already, so I you do. can't click it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame. It's, it's kind shame, of a shame. Shame, shame, shame. <laughs> Uh, you know what, having right. one that stays in the deck isn't terrible though, that's, that's fine. Yeah. Not getting the Dispel aside, JJ locked onto something unusual. It looked powerful. <gasps> oh, the flute. Oh, there's power. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're high rolling. Hold <laughs> I on. like how the first thing you focused on okay. was the flute. <laughs> Dude, look at the flute. Because when you corrupt it, it's just a harp. Like, it's insane. Are you sure you don't take Brigand Armor on uh, Gustav so that we have better speed control? <laughs> I will take... Okay, I will take this Brigand Armor. <laughs> if I see a second flute and I could have corrupted this, I am leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to throw my computer out the window Who's if this? I miss a corrupted flute. Oh, I see. Corrupted flute is just a harp. Yeah, it's it's harp. Yeah, what the actual heck? permanent discount. You know yeah. what? You do what you want. This is this is all I'm, you. I'm gonna take a card. Well, here's the thing, right? I really want to click flute. Do it. But then do if it. I don't get a second one, then it's like sad. Yeah. But it, like, yeah, I really want to corrupt it. For our first straw hat chest, we actually do get some really good pickups and slippers. So Gustav can always be faster now. 
And the last thing we have to do this act is fight Yelmer, the very rough tree. All right, we're, we're fighting this. I'm feeling... No, we weren't going for the invigorated rest. I would love it if it wasn't a 77% chance. Oh, I, I, I respect it. I respect it. All right. Um, do you want... We still Are need you, Steel Forge uh, for sure. Yeah. Oh my god. Every I mean, time. it's been on top of the it's deck every time. It's just an eight time, card. So. Sorry, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't I realize mean, that it was an eight. Continue to play like that, please. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then I guess I'll just burn this. We'll see what that does. We can keep okay. it for later. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, well, I already threw it, so it's all, all good. good. We just didn't kill I, the dryad. We didn't need it. We didn't need it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that two damage will make a difference. Oh, it, it maybe it's all the damage we needed. I am now speeding up the fight here. This is future me talking. So, yeah, it kind of was all the damage we needed. You know, Cornelius did a really good job doing his fire damage to these trees. Uh, he's often a really good pick as a carry for the Act 1, uh, mainly because of Yoger. He's especially good if you're doing... Uh, the normal fights and don't have random fights because most of the things here end up being like tree ends and dryads I think and so then they're all weak to fire and anyways um, we weren't too worried about this fight as soon as we got steel forge we knew it was pretty over Heiner was going to be able to protect the team from the terrible moon fire blast if we needed him to uh, so we decided to just play through the uh, spikes damage as much as we could Sanctify is also something that's very helpful for us here because we can just attack into thorns a bit more than we normally could since we're healing up about as much as we're taking for every card that we're playing. Um, not to mention I gave Cornelius like 115 block there, 132, so he was really going to be fine the, the entire time. Uh, this fight ended up going pretty well for us and the rewards we got after it were pretty awesome too. Is that divine power? Do I take that just to beef up Cornelius? I think it's good it's well here's the thing though right mm -hmm. i don't know your deck's kind of wild yeah i know I'm it feels all like over it's the place functioning right <laughs> it's, uh, it's it's all over the place but it's functioning for some reason <laughs> like in general uh, that really was the way that our decks felt for the first few acts was all over the place but functioning <laughs> we pick up the divine power there which is great for powering up cornelius i get a fishing rod corrupted so otis has plus one draw a turn uh, Cornelius gets a Vampiric card, so now he can deal damage and heal off of it, and yeah, our town isn't too spectacular, but JJ... Oh, it gets so much more... I told you it was Heater Shield Otis from the start. You didn't <laughs> trust. Look at that plus four charges you missed. You mean... Yeah. Yeah, you know what? You're right. <laughs> yeah. You're right. <laughs> I have nothing yes, to say I got in my to defense. concede. Let's go. <laughs> um... All right, so okay. surely I am removing Whistle. Yeah, remove cards here. Oh, I get to remove cards. That's exciting. Goodbye, Fast Strike. My main goal with the card removal here was to make Heiner more of a tank and deal less damage and then push Otis more in the direction of a carry. I fully intend to get Lava Axe, so I decided to put more damage cards in his deck. Uh, the repeat damage ends up being better with Praise the Sun. I took out Scry, even though honestly I probably could have kept Scry. Uh, we got Champion Heiner there to give us a little bit more block, and here's all the decks. Feel free to pause if you want to see them. Heiner, Cornelius, Otis, then Gustav. Otis, I had 18 cards left because I just couldn't figure out what I wanted to get rid of. He was really all over the place, and I just <laughs> I didn't know how far to push him in damage or defensive because he wasn't going to be doing too much damage until we converted everything to fire as I didn't really have any, like, holy damage perks with him, uh, which can work fairly well as well. We do finish this fight a little bit late, because uh, this guy in front loves to stealth. Um, this fight didn't end up being too much trouble. Uh, I, again, will only show the fights that are going to be more problematic for us uh, in greater detail, though this was definitely one of those ones that just, like, was kind of annoying <laughs> because of how long it took. Thankfully he shackles himself and gives us a little bit more to go off of. Recurring Nightmare would have been funny on Cornelius, but we weren't sure we were going to transform his damage. Um, we, he, JJ knew that Cornelius always had the correct answer here, so we get a good 
divination <laughs> out of this and some good experience as well. Librarian is a fun pickup just to add random books to our hand, you know, it kind of fits into the theme of uh, running only one card of each type. The first fight I'm not even going to bother showing. We do miss out on a purple Ode of War, but we do get a scavenge on Gustav's deck. We can't take the purple Ode of War because we already have one. Uh, just a little bit unfortunate, but honestly, the other Ode of War staying in the deck isn't too bad either. The second fight, we end up going against the Fang Gang, I believe is they're called, because they are less resistant to fire, <laughs> and that is our main damage type. So, take them out, no problem. I mean, it's only a good rating, not excellent, but we get some fairly good card rewards here in that we get tune up jj decided not to take it i was like wait a second we need that <laughs> that's gonna get us some good stuff later on um i definitely thought about potentially corrupting it later on in the bell as well but we weren't gonna go that route because we're going for the straw hat so maybe we shouldn't have taken it and hoped for a corrupted tune up i don't know definitely an interesting call the Meditate on Otis is paying off fairly nicely, but Cornelius has still been doing most of the damage for us this entire time. This bull fight ends up being a little bit, uh, I wouldn't say tricky, but we just finish it slower than we normally would because of the way that we're <laughs> uh, trying to fight this guy here. Um, unfortunately, Cornelius wasn't able to put too much fire on him early on either, so we're really kind of, uh, I don't know what's the right word, I don't know, slow. <laughs> our damage is slow, but we're very safe because we have Heiner as our tank. We don't have that much healing, but Gustav's a little bit of healing is usually enough to keep up with whatever bleed or statuses we're taking, or whatever chip damage that we get at the end as well. And Steel Forge makes it so we're going to be safe from the worst of our turns. I wasn't sure whether to power myself up more or to power up Cornelius as much as possible. Cornelius did have the Bless perk, so his Bless damage was worth 1.5 versus the regular one. The Minotaur does end up being able to summon his friend, which is kind of annoying for us, but not that bad for the jump card that Cornelius could have, though he didn't get it here. Um, I think he actually already used it. The... Uh, <laughs> yeah, these these Minotaurs were a little bit of a pain. I did pick up Holy Fire on Notice, thankfully, though, which is a double damage card, so it works very nicely off of having um, Bless or Fortify when it's fire damage, uh, eventually from Lava Axe, because uh, every, every Fortify that we have on Otis and Cornelius does power up our fire damage by one, so it's kind of like Bless in that way. And Steel Forge makes it so that we get a lot more Fortify on all of our heroes meaning we can take them out much faster. We draw the jump card on the wrong turn. I realized that Otis's damage was not that spectacular with that uh, Radiant Assault I did, so... I mean, even with Praise the Sun, it barely did anything, because the Praise the Sun damage was the fire damage, and it was the only thing that really hurt him. So, I give the Bless to Cornelius. Cornelius almost gets the job done. I'm certainly not going to be able to get the job done, and we do end up finishing this fight round six, uh, which is a bit unfortunate. <laughs> we definitely were uh, struggling a little bit in the early game here. It was at this point in the run that I was starting to get worried about the uh, Ignito fight as well. I knew it could always be a challenge for fire teams, but when I was talking with JJ, he he was like, nah, let's just go to the Fireland, it'll be totally fine. And I was like, I don't know. Ignito has uh, been a pain for many of my fire teams in the past. But uh, he, he felt confident, and his confidence made me feel confident. So <laughs> we decided to go for it. No, no luck on our divinations there. No, we do get that Energize boon in our deck. Um, <laughs> this fight was also a little bit difficult. Uh, the Corruptor here didn't make it that tricky. But uh, the enemies themselves are what's a little bit challenging. But we were starting to feel a lot more confident in our run, and we were having fun with it. So I'm going to intermix a little bit of our past dialogue into this fight, because I just found it really entertaining, and I hope that you do too. As JJ teaches us the meaning of efficiency. Yeah. Yep. I like I how you did the... myself for a second. <laughs> yeah, I like how you did the damage to yourself after you hit the guy with 27 Sanctify. <laughs> <laughs> it's called efficiency. I don't expect you to understand. <laughs> Alright, Gustav. See, I needed Gustav to heal oh, me. Oh, yeah, up. we need the Vitalizing Serenade. Oh, snap. <laughs> Wait, what do I have in my draw? Oh, quickness. I actually want that. Don't I? I do. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Oh, yeah. It's working. 
team is functioning. Bang. <laughs> quick. The final line is like, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> the quick shot. Look at that quick shot getting rid of that guy's evasion. Oh man. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. uh, what is that? Excuse me? Yeah, he does that. <laughs> yeah, he just does that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I tell you. Every time <laughs> they update the game, I'm like, man. <laughs> this enemy is so unbelievably fucking annoying. Surely they never top this. And then they update the game and they make another pool of enemies super annoying. And I'm like, huh? How did they do this again? <laughs> yeah, that guy just one shot me. With yeah. Six powerful? Yeah. Speeding back up the fight here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That cannon guy can be really frustrating to fight on fire teams, especially if you can't kill him in time. So we uh, we struggled a little bit on him, but eventually we managed to win this fight. It just took a few more rounds than we had hoped. Uh, thankfully, we got the corruption modifier as well, and uh, some fun divination ideas. The setup was a good card, of course, to pick up. The meteor would have been really funny, but we decided not to take it. The shop, unfortunately, doesn't have anything for us either, so the Corruptor reward actually ended up being kind of pointless, um, but it didn't change too much for us in the end. What does change a lot is us leveling up here. Otis gets more burn and sanctify charges whenever he applies them. Uh, Heiner gets defensive mastery, so defense cards cost one less when he draws them. Cornelius gets burn on hit. Uh, whether you take that or fire starter really depends. Um, there was something funny here where Cornelius uh, doesn't have the energy on round two perk, and that ended up mattering in a lot of our fights. <laughs> um, like, because our decks aren't super efficient and we're not pouring all our resources into Cornelius, he, he ended up not having four energy a lot of times, and like having that four energy would have been fantastic. This fight, however, not too much of a problem for us. Uh, didn't want to go up and like try to get any of the other um, uh, forgeable equipment. <laughs> God, I don't know how to like say it. Um, forgeable equipment being the like anchor or no, not anchor, the iron, the forging iron, which whenever you play a card, you get fortify, which could have powered up Cordelius and Otis or potentially even Heiner. So yeah, would have put it on probably one of them for the uh, lock. Uh, <laughs> these uh, tunnels coming up are always a little bit of a challenge for me, but JJ was super confident. I'm, o I'm always on it. No, I'm like 90%. I'll miss some like really bad sometimes. Right, let's see if it happens uh, again. No, it completely changed up what happened. <laughs> all right, so, yes, very confident. You're so good. You're so good at I'm this. I'm trying. I try, dude. Holy shit. I'm, you know, I'm actually vegging out. My eyes are glazing over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Oh. That's right. And we can have this. I've never had this before. Draw a. Or is this still every turn, like the fishing rod? No, I don't think so. Oh. Interesting. We just get a fish as a gift. Oh. Oh, I oh I misunderstood. Okay, no, that, that makes sense. Yeah, that we just the card. I thought he was replacing your fishing rod and you were Wait, conjuring deal... burning carps. Oh, I deal damage. It's a fish that does yeah, damage. Yeah, yeah, it does damage, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's That's so wild. good with Praise the Sun. As you can probably tell, unlocking that card and getting in Otis's deck was pretty exciting for me. This next fight, we get an improved laser for Heiner, uh, take out the robots, no problem. Uh, we end up getting Steel Forge earlier, and that just kind of is the end of that. I debate on Blood Rain here for Heiner, because I'm getting really nervous about the Igneto fight, and I didn't know if we were going to need the rain, but we also need to have 200 uh, fire stacked on Igneto for us to do any damage to him whatsoever, and I wasn't confident in uh, Otis's damage. We really weren't pumping him up with Bless or enough Fortify for me to... I mean, even Fortify wouldn't do the damage, because, like, Praise the Sun is fire damage, so... Yeah, we we just didn't have enough holy damage on Otis, so we had to go all in on the fire. Um, this boss, on the other hand, we weren't uh, we weren't too afraid of, though he ended up burning us pretty bad, and we actually had to retry it. Uh, we do have Shield Breaker in Heiner's deck just because it's like a card that he had access to. It was one of the purple things that we got early on. Thought it would be pretty funny. Heiner, we are tracing pretty often most of these fights to try and get, uh, what's it called? Steel Forge. There it is. Uh, turn one as often as possible. And we ended up getting it here, so 
that should end up saving our lives. This is another one of those boss fights that's a little bit difficult for the fire team to deal with because uh, the fire cards often hit randomly and for not a ton in the beginning. Um, it also is harder for the on hit Cornelius because we're not applying a lot of the fire on hit since we're not actually hitting. We're hitting the block. Um, kind of weird how that's worded, but that is how it works in the game. So we have to focus down kind of whatever we can. We want to hit like the center guy as much as possible, but we're very much a round two team rather than a round one team. Um, round one, we get to uh, apply all our buffs and stuff, and then when he hits uh, or when enemies hit us on round two or round one, we get the Steel Forge procs getting our fortify up, giving us a lot more base damage on all of our cards, especially Cornelius' cards. Uh, I get a lot more ba base damage on Praise the Sun turns for Otis, but unfortunately I was having a hard time drawing Praise the Sun. <laughs> it was on the very bottom of my deck. Uh, I did get it here, thankfully, so I was able to do some damage, but I just recently upgraded Radiant Assault to be random, so I couldn't actually count on it too much. Uh, thankfully I didn't need to, because Holy Fire was awesome and we had more than enough fire on him. We get a snap pick of Ballad of Conquest there for Gustav, though what's funny about that one too is like, we want Ballad of Conquest to stay in the deck so that we could play it like three times in a single turn, and the purple one always vanishes, so not the best for us. We get the Lava Orb on Cornelius though, so now he has plus three fire charges. Anytime he hits, he's going to be applying at least six fire charges, I think more actually, um, or burn, so pretty solid for us. And then we get the Wall on Heiner, which gives us plus one more fortify on all of his fortify stacks, letting us power up uh, Cornelius and Otis even more. Um, though the run won't fully come together until Otis transforms all his damage into fire. Uh, this is another time where the uh, one we get like the fourth Shieldbreaker pick, but our run challenge comes into play because normally we would snap pick that combustion there because um, it does double damage based on the amount of burn charges on them. Unfortunately, we can't take it because Cornelius already has combustion in his deck, so uh, the singleton rules. <laughs> do you apply. We, I do start taking out more of the uh, buff cards on Otis's deck because I'm realizing that I really want him to be the carry and we're really going to be relying on Cornelius less and less for the mass carry. He's going to be more just a weakening enemies resistances by applying a bunch of burn. I am fairly worried about the uh, Igneto boss fight at this point though. It's it's definitely something concerning. I did pick up Deja Vu on Otis as well, just because I know I'm going to be transforming it into fire damage anyways. And I figured I'd have probably a lot of vanished cards, so its base damage might not be too bad. And it's something I can keep putting in my deck and playing for one um, with like maybe a flash draw or some other cards like that. So this is our last divination before the boss fight. Again, I have the option for Blood Rain, but I know that we're going to need the burn charges on Ignito to weaken him. All right. All right, you can cast a spell a week in him, but we only got a 50-50 chance. Yeah, just just hit him. Just beat the bricks off him. I'm, I'm really worried about this fight. <laughs> All right, then we go for it. Uh, Easy. Just do it. Sounds good to me. Just do it. There we go. Let's go. All right, we even had time to heal. Gotta desperately need it. Easy. Okay, he's vulnerable. It's oh, necessary. Nice. He actually, four bones, pretty good. What the heck, he? Whoa! There's the rest of it. Yeah, we can do it. So, as I've been foreshadowing, uh, I'm gonna speed up this fight quite a bit here because, oh my gosh, does, does, do we spend quite a long time on this? Ignito does end up being a big challenge for us here. I skip all the way to round five. You can see we're totally dead in the water. We lost Otis, we lost Cornelius. We need both of them to take him out in a single turn. One of the reasons that Ignito is so hard for the fire team is that he applies a bunch of fire himself, and then if you're applying 200 fire to him, he's basically going to heal from zero to full, <laughs> because he has one card that he plays that just does that, um, based on the amount of burn charges on the field. Which is why I was considering taking the wet charges um, in the form of Blood Rain just so that we could stop him from healing sometimes, but in the end I thought it wouldn't really be worth it. I think I might have been wrong, because like I think we could have dealt a good amount of damage on one turn and then applied wet to him after the fact, but we needed the last person to go to be the one doing that, so someone like uh, Heiner or potentially Gustav after he's been shackled. Uh, thankfully we do have evasions, and evasions get rid of the shackles. 
Heiner was also blocking so much at this point that he could take a full meteor shower to the face uh, with Steelforge on and be totally fine for the later turns. It also made it so that we had 22 and 25 Fortify on Otis and Cornelius, respectively. And their base damage was upped quite a bit, though it mainly mattered on Cornelius, because again, most of Otis's damage is still not fire, um, unless it's my single Praise the Sun turn, which we needed to save for exactly round four, I think it was. Uh, it, this is the one turn that we found out that he doesn't heal himself. Um, though the uh, Sanctify that we put on ourselves by playing skills from his enchantment that he applies to us does end up healing him anytime he hits us anyways, so it's a... Very difficult thing to deal with for fire teams. Um, yeah, I, I think that about sums it up. <laughs> this fight was pretty rough for us. It definitely, I think, broke JJ's morale. He did mention that, it, like, before we even started Act 2, that he was going to go to bed <laughs> very, like, soon. And then, like, we did all of Act 2. And it was getting very, very late. So our, uh, our frustration level with this guy was very high. I have, of course, died to Ignito multiple times on uh, far past runs where I just was trying out fire team and then I, under I underestimated him and just lost because I didn't have the block necessary or the damage necessary to get through him in a single turn. But here, this is going to be our final successful run uh, against Ignito. We did end up changing up our play a little bit. Turned out we needed to definitely trace Heiner because we need the um, uh, Steel Forge. Then we traced Otis so that Otis could draw some more support cards for Cornelius because all of our damage rounds one, two, th and three do not matter. Or does not matter. God, grammar is hard. Uh, <laughs> um, the damage is just unimportant. The stacks of uh, burn we're applying, that's very important um, because that's going to be lowering his resistances for the one turn that we can do a ton. So I want to save up some of my Vanish cards as well on Otis just so that we I can do as much as possible in a single turn. And we need to draw our Praise the Sun in the correct turn as well so that I can contribute <laughs> a lot more to this fight than I was previously. The Burn is really stacking up on Cornelius, though. So every now and then I had to get rid of it with Dispel, which was also kind of mitigating how much damage he could do, but we just didn't have the block to keep up with the burn charges. You can see he's at 54 right now, and even though he resists burn fairly well, uh, it just it's taken out more than half his like remaining health. So the evasion um, from Ballad Evasion ends up being very clutch this fight. It means that he's not going to be healing up off of Sanctify anytime soon. And it means that we can uh, basically take one extra turn that we wouldn't have been able to otherwise. It, which allows us to fight between the rounds 4 and 5. Because like I said, round 3, he's still going to heal up to full. We want to make sure that he's up to um, 200 burn at the end of this turn and not use our best cards. That's why we don't use Fiery Shield there. That's why he saves the Hell Flame on Cornelius on that turn as well. That's also why I don't go with Praise the Sun, and none of those things apply fire, so doing my best damage cards that turn would have been a complete waste. Uh, same with playing Shieldbreaker there, because even Heiner can do some good damage based off of the Crack and the Fortify charges on him, as well as some of the Bless and Powerful that uh, Gustav keeps applying. So this right here, this is the turn that we have to hit in between. We need to slow him down as well as do as much damage as possible so that we have two turns to deal all the damage before he gets to go again. He is currently faster than us, so it's up to Heiner here to draw the slow card for us to be able to win. Uh, we are going all out. I give Anthem of Hope to everybody so we get one extra draw on everybody's turn. We do find the shield charge, which is going to let us slow him down by three, meaning Cornelius and Otis can go before him. So they have to do 600 damage uh, and some odd so that we can actually win. We have the combustion, we have the inner combustion, and... Okay. I think you got him. I think he's just dead. I think you got yeah. him. Couldn't tell you what was different about that, Holy but shit. I'm glad it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Could not tell you what went so well about that. <laughs> but hey, we take those. There are things that changed for sure. Yeah, things Holy definitely crap. changed. And we got rewarded with a Void Crush. Yeah. Which was cool. <laughs> yeah. Alright, give me a flute. 
<laughs> Nor Purple volcanic Ooh. axe. You know what? Ooh. Heiner grabs that now. <laughs> <laughs> he earned it. Heiner's earned it. Um, uh, the lapis necklace is lava crystal one corny. Because you're doing volcanic Otis, right? Yeah. Or is it um... volcanics? I'll notice. So yes. Volcanic Axe is going to go to Otis. That's going to transform all his damage to fire. We are lucky in that it's purple, so we do get extra burn charges. Um, I take Ignito's core on Heiner just to heal up fire. It seemed to be one of our weaknesses. And Cornelius gets to set himself on fire and gain powerful every turn. Uh, it's at this point we took a break, and then we came back. Salute Vitalizing on the way out. It, uh, it did, did some work. <laughs> At some point, I'm sure. Yeah, it was some fight. It it was surely there. <laughs> it was doing something. It had to. <laughs> and as we say goodbye to Vitalize, I'm gonna fast forward here. These are all the decks leaving Act Two or Act Three Town. Uh, Heiner, feel free to pause on any of them. And yeah, I'm not gonna go over too much of what we did. We upgraded Shock Nova at some point. I forget when. We took out all the non-damaging cards in Otis's deck, except for the one that makes the whole team draw. And then we got rid of Purple Ballad to get a one that we can keep. I try, man. I Dream, try. Dream Bod Superiority. Uh, did we have a route we were going, or are we just, like, winging it? Um, oh, yeah, we're going with Straw Hat. I, <laughs> I completely oh, forgot what no. we're doing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just... Wow. Okay. That thing over there. Yes, that thing over there indeed. I did totally forget what we were doing on this run. We took like a five day break, I want to say. So, uh, apologies. <laughs> uh, I'm again not going to be showing off too much of the fights. Like most of them were pretty easy. We didn't have too much difficulty getting through anything. Um, so I'll show you the divinations and kind of the end of the fights. Heiner gets a pommel there, which is kind of fun. Uh, a purple pommel, I might add. We get a pointy hat on the Cornelia dog and... Uh, Gustav gets the guaranteed powerful war banner, so we get that at the start of combat every turn. Um, pretty good for us, because uh, now I think he already had one from before, so we have one every turn. We get an adrenaline there on Gustav, which is also really good. Killing lizards, there wasn't any items that we wanted to get, so we just took the boat up, the free boat I would say, and then we get the uh, gold from Gustav's area. Then. We do this fight, and Otis is really starting to shine now that we have Volcanic Axe, and we're getting a lot of Fortify on him. So you can see, like, he's going to be wiping most turns. The combat for the Crocs coming back to fight us just ends up totally helping us out. We level up fast. Uh, I'm going to take the Fusion Laser on Heiner, because I was worried about our vulnerability, and I thought he could do some decent damage with the Fortify perk. We take Solar Flare on Otis, because it does a ton of damage if you have a high energy card. He gets Phoenix instead of World of Flames, which I do roast him about a little bit, because I thought that was kind of silly. Um, Gustav gets to double the song now, though, so that's really good. Uh, Solar Flare, as you can see, put in some work right there, and everything's just kind of burning to death, and we're getting excellence on fights now. So, run's really coming together. Uh, I think, yeah, we take that Librarian instead of the one that we had in the past. I take Carnage here, because I'm really hoping for the uh, transform damage into Blunt. Uh, equipment, and then we go on to fight this boss, and uh, his wife delivers dinner to him, which uh, he has some questions about. What's this green thing in my food? It's just a spring onion. <laughs> we put onions on shrimp now. It's just that's what we do it's, now, it's as a species. It's a garnishing. What does garnish mean? Oh, well. I don't know. Are you are you are you messing? What? Are you messing? Around? What does what does garnish mean? Why they put onions in my shrimp <laughs> to make it look pretty? <laughs> yes. Time for we some, pay like, for beauty when we go out to eat now. Culinary education here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my wife's Chef Ramsay now. I I love the indignation of is the. <laughs> What's this green thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know, there's weird stuff in the bowl. <laughs> like, like, why do I have any, any green <laughs> in my Yeah, food? like, like, this is fried food, and then I see some green. That's freaking me out. 
<laughs> green things and fried food aside, uh, we do end up fighting this boss. He's not too much of a challenge, so I'm going to skip forward here to the major Otis turn. It does happen round two. We get the Praise the Sun and Solar Flare on the same turn. Uh, and you see Otis just absolutely destroys this guy. Heiner gets, or sorry, not Heiner, but Cornelius has a whole other turn that we just don't need. Uh, we get really, really lucky and find a Crescent Light, which is a really high damage a bounce around card because it does plus 100% damage three times. So it gets up to some stupidly high damage as it doubles all the time. Um, very fun card to play around with. Happy I got it on this run. Uh, couldn't really ask for much better. We get Tainted Rod on Cornelius, so he gets a draw every other turn. Dream Sphere on uh, the Frog. We'll let it so that Ballad of Conquest on turn two can be cheaper. Pretty good for us. The Greater Mana Potion just gives you energy every turn, so at this point that's going to be much better for Heiner. We get a War Banner again here for Gustav, so now we do get that powerful every turn. And our powerful problems are really going to be taken care of at this point. So... Yeah, I'm going to be opting for Eternal Candle instead of the Fishing Rod. Eternal Candle does give us more Sanctify and Burn Charges. Sanctify is mainly how we've been healing this run. It's not super worth it, honestly. Keeping the draw every other turn would have been nice, except for the fact that I figured I was going to be supported enough in the late game where I would have the full amount of Inspire, so I wouldn't even be able to spawn that card in my opening hand. Anyways, that was a thought. Uh, at this fight, I decided to take the Armageddon because I wanted the money, and it was very, very greedy. This fight wasn't easy though. <laughs> um, fighting the monk is always kind of hard when you're playing a more defensive build. Uh, he does transfer a lot of curses and we do take quite a bit as the resistance is plus 45% for fire, which is all of our damage. Like we don't really have the luxury of other uh, damage archetypes. The monk puts all the burn on court. Uh, on Heiner, so he's gonna die next turn if he gets to go. Crescent Light does a ton of damage there, so I was like, cool, we won, and we're Shackles, since uh, the monk puts two Shackles on everybody. But we're in really rough shape, and here I see the Poison Fields. They get plus 15% resistances and plus three damage. The Poison doesn't really matter to us. But I figure if we get to remove two cards afterwards, even if we die here, like even if everybody dies, we just get to remove all the death doors and then maybe something else that we want to do as well. So we save a little bit of gold here. Um, so really the only win criteria is for uh, one of our heroes to survive, which actually ended up being a lot harder than I'd hoped, mainly because we started the fight so low, like Heiner's already at half health and then Gustav's only at 12. So we really need to focus on healing him up as fast as possible. But we didn't exactly get the uh, speedy recovery turn. So I will be showing off most of this fight since it was, uh, I don't know, kind of traumatic in a way. <laughs> not nearly as bad as the uh, Igneto fight and not actually traumatic. Just kind of silly. Um, but it was, it was difficult enough for us to be like, kind of done <laughs> with the with taking challenges or at least especially JJ was kind of done at this point I'd I pushed him too far uh, so I do get the nice setup of the solar flare turn with Otis Heiner just goes down the purge of fortify and the uh, just high volume of damage driller had just instantly killed him um, I think he transferred his fire too so all the burn that he had on him we just died to thankfully Otis gets to go so we do get to attack into this uh, super high damage AoE that the uh, Ariel does. I forget, what she, I forget what her name is. Anyways, whenever you attack her, she applies damage to the whole team and applies mark and stuff. So really bad for us. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're down to the driller. At this point, I'm like, we, we have a good chance. And then he transfers all his burn to Otis. And I'm like, ah, shit. <laughs> um, how are we going to deal damage to this guy who's got like 95% fire resistance? There you go. I am a phoenix. Yeah, you're a phoenix, man. <laughs> Yo, you made fun of phoenix. Run it back. Run that clip back. Pull that clip up. <laughs> I mean... It'd give me hope and yep. then... I would rather play Meteor Shower than Divine So did Iron, you just take and phoenix? that's wild. Did you just yeah, take... man, we're phoenixing it up. Did you just take phoenix? Hey yeah, man, what's up? Why we got a phoenix hater in chat? Uh, instead of world in flames. <laughs> <laughs> Deservedly so, I think. Hey, you can unstable power. Look at that. We're powerful? We're on fire? We have inner combustion into fiery shield? What more could we ask for? Bang! It's over. Let's go. It's, it's over. Cornelius is my personal goat. Ah, that was... 
never had a doubt. Never a doubt in my mind. I doubted the whole time. I mean, yeah, man. I didn't have a doubt either. <laughs> oh, I'm taking oh, that brilliance. celestial brilliance. I'm taking it. You oh. can't stop me. You could try to Holy stop me, but heck, you can't. Holy heck, dude. I, by all means, go off. And with JJ's permission, I do indeed go off. Brilliance is actually not a meme here, mainly because uh, Solar Flare means that we draw like seven cards if we play Brilliance, or four if we get the reduction in cost from the level five Otis passive, which is kind of what I was banking on to do Brilliance anyways, um, at least consistently. I do end up getting rid of the Divine Power as I'm done with supporting Cornelius. I don't want to waste uh, three energy supporting myself. Uh, we're getting the Powerful and Bless from Gustav most of the time anyways with Ballad, so... We're definitely a round two kill team, but that's totally fine by us. I will go through this whole Hydra fight, as it was a pretty, it was a decent fight, but I, I kind of more just want to show how destructive Otis is at this point in the game. Like, even with the Singleton challenge, we have enough individually powerful cards that we don't have to worry about too much going wrong. Um, though their speed hitting us really fast did worry me a bit. Also, Heiner, uh needs to draw Steel Forge for us to feel super comfortable, otherwise we might just die. And I also have to last a round too. Again, need to draw that Steel Forge. Didn't draw the Steel Forge, but we do have the Barricade, so at least we have some block. Um, and we get to apply some Vulnerable to the team, but we don't have as much block as I really needed. Ballad of Conquest will keep us alive, as will Ballad of Evasion. We get to Encore Ballad of Conquest, so we get the Double Up Powerful and Bless. Uh, the Sharp doesn't matter, unfortunately as well as the um, super speed up. So we need to be faster than all the Hydras on this turn, except for Otis. Otis is actually kind of a bit slower, but we have some slows in um, Heiner's and Cornelius' deck, so I was kind of hoping for that. Steel Forge should keep us alive as well. Uh, <laughs> Captivating Voice would be pretty nice here, but we can't play it, so <laughs> we have to just live with it. I did pick up the Blood Rage on Heiner. Uh, he usually struggles a little bit on energy in the late game, although with the Mana Gem, I probably didn't need to. He only struggles because he plays in Trench all the time, but yeah, again, in the after he turns level 5, he's just going to be having 5 energy a turn with that Mono Gem, so probably, probably a little bit of an overkill to take Blood Rage. Still, it helps out here. Um, well, it doesn't actually. He has 3 energy. The Solar Flare does a huge amount of damage, and unfortunately the back guy, or the front guy, is invulnerable. But I do want to kill the guy in back before he summons another Hydra Head. Also, I don't want him like purging all our Fortify and Bless and all those good buffs. Um, this guy's also a little bit scary because we have to kill him relatively fast. He does turn all of our wet into poison, so we're, we're on a ticking clock here. Uh, Gustav just is gonna die. <laughs> there's, there's nothing we can do to save him. Um, we kind of have to figure out who's going to be the best to speed up. We figure Heiner going before Otis and Cornelius is going to be great because he can at least buff up with some Fortify, hopefully, uh, and potentially do some Heat Laser so we can get like more vulnerable or whatever on this guy. Uh, helping Hands also going to give us that extra draw. And uh, Heiner does like 400 damage, so like we weren't expecting him to do that much, but he did great. We still have the Hellfire on Cornelius, and he's got Phoenix, so he can just come back regardless, but he doesn't even need it. He does all the damage. We got Energizing Serenade, which I was just like, oh my god, like that's amazing. I never get Energizing Serenade on support Gustav. It's not really a great card, because you have to play it turn three at the earliest, unless you get an st early stanza two card, but yeah. We get Enrage on Heiner, so we get the energy. Um, then Otis got a good card there as well. I actually forgot it. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. Going into the next town, I'm going to go very... We're obviously going through the middle to get Straw Hat. I'm going to skip forward uh, after we look at our items here. The Dimensional Crystal is great. And then I'll show you all our decks. These are our decks before we change them. And then uh, I'm going to show you the decks after we end up spending all our money and changing them. And here we are. Uh, we didn't spend all our money because we just... I don't know, didn't think there's anything good enough in the shop. We didn't change too much about our decks either, which is why we kind of saved a lot of money. But feel free to pause, you can take a look at any changes that did happen. Um, there were a few. Uh, I'm not gonna go over too much about what they were, I believe I bought Dion's Light. Our items, we just kind of kept the same except for the Dimensional Crystal, we gave that to Cornelius so he could double up on a spell. Uh, potentially a spell like Meteor Shower, which we're definitely taking this challenge to get, even though JJ is kind of challenged out at this point. <laughs> um, this fight may have taken us two tries. I'm not going to go into it too deeply, though, because it wasn't too bad. Uh, we finished it at fairly good health. We get the true powerful card of Purple Meteor Shower, 
very fun for us. Uh, this divinity, we get Demonic Tutor, so now Otis can play Celestial Berlains for free if we want to at some point, or any of his other expensive cards. Um, I guess it still costs two to play the Demonic Tutor, so it's not exactly free. I do take the shop option here on Thunderstorm, because I thought there'd be something pretty good. There's not really too much to show in these fights. Otis just goes off on one turn and kills everybody. We get a purple Mana Surge, which is pretty fantastic. That's two energy to create five energy across the team. I take Last Stand on Heiner. We both agreed it might be fun if we get a uh, Citadel. Uh, <laughs> have to wait and see if that shows up. The option to buy the uh, Big Shield Bastion there wasn't too great, so just because like we're we already have the wall and it costs 1500 So we do pick up the Straw Hat, we get Gladiator Helmet on Cornelius, it's just a little bit more damage, and we then get the Justicar Ring on Otis, so he gets more Sanctify charges. So every time we're playing Sanctify, we're playing Burn on Otis that, or with Otis as well. Our level 5 here gives Reverberate, we make it so that we have far cheaper Holy Spells. Um, anytime you play a Holy Spell, your highest one gets reduced by 3, up to twice per turn, so we can play all our stuff. Heiner gets more energy. Cornelius, we go with the plus four burn charges, so now everything should just be on fire, like, all the time. And Gustav makes it so that we never lose our stanza three, that way we get to keep our extra draw. Uh, or we never lose a draw, like, <laughs> in the later stages. This fight we were a little bit worried about, because it is a Nido again, you know, or his, uh, his cousin <laughs> in, that shows up in Act 4. Not as powerful of a cousin, to be sure, but still a little bit frightening, and <laughs> maybe I underestimated a bit by taking this challenge. This is truly where I drove JJ crazy, because it's like at this point in the run, like, we don't need any of these buffs, and uh, we can easily win the win the run without, like, going all in for these, uh, these corruptors here. But I thought we'd be able to handle this well enough, and uh, yeah, it, it just took a little bit of finagling, and then we we're all fine, but... We, we kind of were also tired of thinking this was getting later into the night as well uh, at this point in the run. So <laughs> we uh, we took our time. The setups are great, of course, we're putting Energizing Serenade on a turn where we can actually play it. Not that we got to play it too often because we mostly killed round two. We rarely ever got to round three and there's nothing getting us to faster stands on Gustav. Um, fight was still kind of a good one to show off though. Like Even though we're really powerful, even though we are doing um, very well and can crush most fights. Uh, we're not invincible. The speed differences here really made a huge difference. Like, because we didn't get to go first, they have crushed Heiner. Um, that's, that's just how it goes. I uh, don't have too much more to say. We don't have a great way of playing Meteor either. <laughs> it's kind of a meme pick as well. I get to do the fun 7-cost Celestial Brilliance, though, but instead I opt for the card that I know is going to kill everybody. <laughs> uh, we play the Celestial Brilliance anyways. It doesn't really matter. This guy's going to burn to death. Then we get some cool cards here. I want to take the Master Spell, but I know that we don't need it. We're doing fine enough, and we're moving on to the Twins here short. The Twins fight is a great time to show off this run's power, and I'm just going to let it play, like all of it. My favorite part of Twins is uh, that there's no Corruptor you can force me to play. Alright, let's see here. Boy, these <laughs> turn ones have been great. This actually is fine. I made yeah. sure our speeds were just okay. For some yeah. celerity. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. Do I need Steel Forge? It's kind of a good card. Uh, fine. I'll do it this way. Take Entrench just in case. Plin, plin, plon. Uh, we can Odebor. You want this evasion? Yeah, give it to Heiner. Yeah. I'll make sure that he never thinking. does. Bro, Gustav Healer goes so wild, bro. Stop. Yes, laser on top, baby. That is That's what, what you love I to was see. Looking for. Alrighty. That's what it's all about, baby. And then we have. I'm like, do I sunder? It's probably not worth it. Uh, we just barricade. Well, the slow is bad, right? Because we want his enchantment to go away next turn. Hmm. How does slow affect next turn? Uh, it affects this turn positively, I think. It affects next turn. 
not at all, because we're still going first. We're still going before him next turn, always. Okay. We trust him. We're just gonna like. We let the genius do his job. We're just gonna attack into it, you know. Bang. Yeah, <laughs> man. I'm in. Ideally, Cornelius right. supports the hell out of Otis, and we just like win this turn. Let's get him the 200 burn real quick. Oh, there's the funny card. That yeah. is the funny card. <laughs> Bang. Double up on that. It's pretty good. It is pretty good, huh? Yeah, um, and transmission. Home or trans? Definitely yeah, that's what I thought. Transmission. Oh, we can slow that, dude. Just because. I mean, your hit does set him on fire quite a bit. Yeah, he's dying. Yeah, I'm looking and... for one card. I'm looking for one game. card and one card in particular. This is kind of a game winner. Um, <laughs> how many cards do I need to discard to get it? Probably most uh, of them. How much damage is Holy Fire doing? Quite a bit. Just uh, everything except um, Holy Fire, right? Well, Holy <laughs> Fire, Solar Flare. Yeah, that's the hard part. I'm like, everything except for those two, probably. Probably. God, I want that atonement so bad. Yeah, I think this is yeah, correct. Yeah, that's alright. We'll, we'll kill him. There's the crescent light. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. And you uh, can do a free celestial brilliance, which is funny. Damage. Bam! Oh my god. Hold that L for me. Fortnite dance on him. <laughs> Disrespectfully. Um, is it worth it to do praise? The, the sun? praise, yeah, like praise, carp, dawnlight, flash, and uh, penance wins, right? You also have one more discount on reverberation. Yeah, because oh, that'll hit free celestial. Holy fire. It doesn't do anything, right? Oh, it hits celestial. You're right. You're right. It's not hitting holy fire. Yeah, all. that's a shame. Ooh, yeah, that's okay. okay. That almost that almost got I me. I think we still win. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I just really Bang. want this guy to die. Uh, we have three, so... Yeah, I mean, Dawn's Light, probably? Yeah, I think Dawn Light, and then Penance, um, the back guy, because won't, won't um, he just bleed Wait, out? Don't I front? just... I guess it doesn't up. really matter. Don't they both just die? Yeah, hold yeah, on. Yeah, we're thinking way too hard. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> Wait a second. Alright, that's so the turn easy, one. Man. Turn one, twins. That's turn what I was looking baby. for. This is a challenge run, right? Uh, supposedly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mana gem! The back. Oh, There's the mana gem. All right, I'm gonna click on it. Titanfall's a funny nice. card. <laughs> it's not needed. It is funny. I guess I don't take. Very funny. It's unnecessary. No, unfort. Huh? Un you said no, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, no, yeah, no, Definitely don't take Purging Ray either, right? There's never a time for it. I like cool cards, but cool cards don't uh, do not do enough. <laughs> yeah, right? That's that's <laughs> just the game. <laughs> like, man, I love the cool cards, but they suck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do the cool cards suck? <laughs> Anyways, that aside, we get some really good items here. Staying this curious is a great way to survive. At this point, I don't need the powerful in Otis, so there's no point in keeping our current Titan gauntlets uh, when staying this curious just gives us more. Uh, the meat gives us draw every turn, so might as well take that at this point as well. I don't think there's too much to show in most of these fights, um, though I will show the, the end fight because something fun happens there. We get to live our dream, the dream of the meme cards. <laughs> uh, this time, though, we do get some... I, no, actually, we get like zero. We get zero divinations here. I don't even know why I showed that divination. Uh, here, you can watch us do some upgrades. I'll try to go over them as best I can, but I do kind of forget at this point what we were doing. I think I upgrade last stand because I'm just like hoping we're going to find something good. Um, then we upgrade Energizing Serenade because we're like, eh, I might as well have this funny card be better later, right? <laughs> like, I hope. Um, here, JJ was like, I absolutely don't want to do another fight. And I was like, all right, let's do a fight. Um, I asked him if he wanted to do one. He was like, no, no, thank you. And I was like, all right, time to go. <laughs> Sorry, JJ, if you do get to this point, you're watching. Uh, <laughs> Sorry for trolling you so much. Also, you were a great pleasure to play with. Uh, we do, off of this fight, though, get Vampiric Tutor, which... You know, 
Cornelius does have that 10 cost meteor in his deck. I'm just saying that that fight ended up being kind of cool. I get rid of the mind break at this point, notice his deck. I really just want repeat cards or cards that draw me or cost zero for the most part, or do you like uh, two sources of damage so we can get as much off of Bless and Fortify as possible? The Garden Angel pickup there would have been really, really funny. <laughs> Uh, but we didn't need it. The extra draw for Gustav has been fantastic. The meat is just nice in general. We can increase the fortify charges straight away if we need to. Um, so giving us a little bit of extra powerful uh, and just base damage. Uh, I will be cutting back. I'm going to show you this whole fight because I'm going to be cutting back to the uh, to the glorious turn that we had towards the end here. Heiner does get to go off. He sets everybody to seven vulnerable, setting up the perfect turn for Cornelius with one extra energy thanks to the one ring. Oh my god, it's happening. Oh, it's we got happening. It. It's happening! And then you, you get a copy fire Yeah, blast. you get to double it. You get to double it. <laughs> Yo, let's go! <laughs> pop, 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 pop. That's, Damn, that hold sure, that. Oh, that sure is random, huh? <laughs> that whole thing, bro. <laughs> Disrespectful! I'm the first one hit him. All right, we take those. Uh, this is this is worth spit on him. Oh worth God. the whole run. Oh the my whole God. run was worth it. <laughs> Yo, oh, let me get those kills. I earned them. Cornelius earned them. just went off. I don't know. Wait, I gotta check. I don't know. How are we doing Holy in the combat moly. stats? Oh, I'm beating you. Okay, I'll let you have them. Oh uh, yeah, let me have them. Let me have them. I pity you on a poor old man. <laughs> Nice. Oh, man. If I was behind you, I absolutely would have attacked, though. Just make sure I just had the most damage. <laughs> uh, oh, the ball lightning's back. <laughs> Dude, there's an upgraded whirlwind. That's what I'm aiming for. Uh, I don't take black hole ever. Pretty sure. It's not strong enough. I'm gonna go here. Um, I'm not going to waste time by having us look at our decks again. And we waste no time indeed, as the pig says, oink. <laughs> Going into the final fight here, fairly confident that we could uh, at least beat Handcheck. Didn't really have hopes of beating him before the clones showed up, so we made sure not to play Song of Celerity here. Probably could have gotten rid of it um, right before the fight that we just did, although that would have made that one a little bit more challenging, since we wouldn't have all gone first, I think. Um... But we really want to just beat up the clones, have our pets die. It's an unfortunate fact that I was just going to live with. On a challenge run, you only get so much luxury. And like, although we are pretty powerful and this wasn't the most challenging in the end, because we just had some really good individually powerful cards, um, it's still like, it's not as powerful as it could be. We could just have like a game ending turn one if we really wanted to, uh, especially against just a singular, singular hand check. Uh, especially if we get to round two, right? Like, we get to round two all the time. Celestial Brilliance here is kind of fun. Um, Crescent Light's also kind of fun. Like, there's an argument for doing either of that. Like, Solar Flare plus Celestial, like, seems great, but then I want to use Crescent Light at some point in this fight, and uh, there probably aren't going to be targets to jump to, so it was definitely a bit of a consideration to think about. Um, Gustav will then hopefully be able to speed us up this turn. We did get the Song of Quickness, which does give everybody stanza. He does have the stanza perk that gives us all damage plus one for every bit of stanza that we have. So I think we're all plus two damage. <laughs> uh, very worth it to not be able to play that card on round one all the times where it would have been useful. <laughs> uh, no, but... <clears throat> Here, we're able to set up with Heiner pretty well. We get everybody to, uh, got seven vulnerable. And Handshake has almost 200 burn on him, so his fire resistance is about as low as it can be without any, like, extra legendary items. Uh, the only one I can think of is the one that lets us get, like, six more vulnerable on him. So, fire is not the best damage type against Handshake and his clones. See, they are actually quite resistant to it. Handshake, especially, I think he starts at, like, 80 or 90% resistance. This is a little bit rough. I thankfully get the Crescent Light here. I get it for free with Demonic Tutor, which is kind of fun. Otis doesn't have a big deck anymore. So it did hit perfectly there as well, which is pretty lucky. We have a Praise the Sun turn. So Otis is just like really popping off and we get the huge Holy Fire penances in our hand as well. It's our repeat damage with Praise the Sun that we really were looking for. Deja Vu is even doing some decent base damage. So it feels pretty, pretty good overall. Uh, looking at that turn, there's there's a chance that we could have killed Handcheck turn one, um, or before at least before he went on uh, turn two, 
but the chances were kind of low. So it, it wasn't really worth risking in our opinion. And we also were just like, yeah, whatever. We'll just like win the run, even if all our pets die, as sad as that is. Heiner also gets to put in some work. Look at that pummel, 50, 50 times four, and then a 333 uh, shield slam there. Oh man, Heiner's really put in the work. We get to play Meteor <laughs> Storm with the Cornelius there, and then Radiant is obviously going to be more than enough. Um, I discard like all the cards here just for like maximum bless and just a bunch of energy, which is kind of fun, but not necessary, of course. <laughs> and then we go into our final fight, the Archon. Uh, Archon, we're going to have a hard time killing him turn one, and for similar reasons, we don't want to uh, aggro... Or, sorry, we don't want to speed up the team so that we can kill his clone, because his clone will make the fight a uh, living hell by getting rid of all our Inspire and reducing our energy to two, no matter how much Energize or Inspire we give the whole team. So, yeah. Gotta make sure that that guy dies and that we can slow him down, at least with some cards. Heiner, again, gets one of the most perfect turns I could ask for. He gets a Fusion Laser, he gets Entrench, he gets Steel Forge. Everything is set up. The more that the uh, Archon attacks us at this point, the more damage we're going to be dealing to him. So, we're looking pretty solid. We do have the Scorching Ray on uh, Cornelius as well for a good time. Uh, for, for a time where we can set the burn up to 200. And it's at this point in the run, like, our runs, like I said, they're playing out pretty much all the same in terms of how our turns go, which is why I wasn't showing too many of the fights earlier. Like, ever since Act 3, this is kind of what the deck was. We're just getting, like, slightly better cards here and there. So, uh... We're definitely not going to have too much trouble. His resistance to fire is going to go away on round three for us because we're going to attack into it again on round two since we'll be going first. Um, and at that point, we'll be able to do just a ton more damage to him. Like, he's taking very little now because he had so much resistance built up, but he'll take, like, I don't know, like double damage almost later. So, should be pretty good. Uh, yeah, like I said, not too much more to say. Um, I do want to thank JJ again for playing. He was a ton of fun to play with. You could tell, like, all the clips I was showing, we were laughing the whole time. We were making jokes. Like, <laughs> we, we got we got slightly annoyed and frustrated at redoing some of the fights uh, a number of times. Mainly just that Igneto one. It was a huge pain. And it's something I'm used to uh, doing these challenge runs <laughs> a lot. But JJ was more in for the casual time, and I forced him to do something that was... Uh, a little bit outside his comfort zone, but I, I really thank him for playing. I had a blast. And at this point, I, I think I'm just going to let the run speak for itself mostly. I have like, what, a minute here before we get to our past selves talking. So, yeah. Uh, if you did make it to this point in the video and you've enjoyed it, please go ahead and leave a like. I'm going to do the cringe thing that JJ is going to talk about later <laughs> as I let him do the outro because his outro is again amazing honestly i recommend just like going to check out the combat stats section just to hear uh jj a little bit more it was <laughs> it was at least very entertaining for me this guy being up to 100 sanctify and 200 fires also kind of fun i say praise the sun on otis so that i could have a much stronger turn next turn when he's less resistant to fire uh, he turns all his sanctify into dark which blows him up for like 300 we finally get energizing serenade to go off which you know like that's just a dream come true <laughs> we get that three energize on everybody and inspire man what a what a card. <laughs> Finally hit that round three. The Archon was strong enough to make us go that far. Um, we still have 9,000 HP to go through, and uh, JJ wasn't too confident, though. After he got this Meteor Shower, I was like, man, we're we're doing great. He just did 4,000 by himself, and Otis hasn't even used Praise the Sun yet. Uh, though my brain was short-circuiting a little bit. Damn, round four it is. No, um, round five it is, because he's evading. <laughs> oh. Why why would we not kill him this turn? Why would we uh why would we round four him? I don't understand what you're saying. Uh oh. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> what that guy said. Yeah. Look how nice. much thought that took me there as I was like trying to respond to you. <laughs> <laughs> just like, just, just like, staring at the screen, eyes glazing over. Oh, I unlocked man. Burnt Carp. Same, how I exciting. unlocked Slime. And we died five times. What a skill issue. We did die a lot. 
That was, uh, that was yeah, quite we died a bit. quite a bit. Uh, but that's that's it. That's the whole run. <laughs> that's the run. It was easy. Uh, Otis, very Otis easy. Kind of eclipsed Cornelius at the end. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. A bit of a shame. Just, just a little. Just, just a little. It's all right. Bit. He carried the act one. Yeah. Honestly. yeah. Do you do YouTuber outros? Have you seen me do my uh, cringe YouTuber outro? Uh, I, yeah, I do kind of outros. I do like, uh, hope you all have a great day and like, or night, wherever you are, you know? I'll, uh, I'll end a stream. I'll be like, thanks for watching, guys. Tune in next time. Don't, you'll be sure not to miss it. Check out my Patreon. Like, just try to be like, as every cringe, <laughs> like, outro I've heard from a YouTuber, I try to say it all at the same time. <laughs> And uh, it do gets. You, do you have a Patreon? <laughs> no, no, no. No, I don't. <laughs> so if you want to see the unedited version of the stream VOD, check out my Nebula page. Every every person who signs up for Nebula <laughs> gives me an extra 5% or something. Yeah, you know. Just, so just try to be as cringe as possible.